one of the most competitive series finales we've seen in a long, long time here, set to go. A field of 10 with no changes. The four-leaf clover final, $147,020. The four-leaf clover final field. Pacers are lined up, picking up speed for race eight. Here they come. They're on. Noble can is jacked up early there and firing out with Fox Valley. Devious there. Met Jensen back to way. Third straight. Mick Jagan from the far side. Flashing early step around the first turn. It's Noble Cam. Third straight on the outside. Dubé taking over. Mick Jag is, is on the move. Fox Valley Devious settles in the fourth spot. Now Met Jensen fifth to the opening quarter mile. Art Maker on the outside, inching up six. Cheyenne Ray is seventh from the rail. Then it's Lucky Is, as Lucky does, followed by St. George Island, and Hollywood Sam is struggling at the back. His gap, 26 and two, hot quarter. Mick J again on the outside for post 10, working hard to clear the top. Third straight in Dubé, got to strangle hold of that one, trying to let Mick Jagan clear. Mick Jagan is all out to clear. And third straight on the inside is uh, still on the inside. And those two will battle as uh, Mick Jagan cannot clear. And they'll duel past the half in a hot 54. Noble Cam sitting off the dueling leader's third. Matt Gent is out now and covered fourth on the outside. Fox Valley Devious shuffled to fifth now. Art Maker sets it up from second over. Sixth on the outside. Third over Lucky is as Lucky does. Cheyenne Ray getting shuffled back along with Hollywood Sam. Then to the outside, St. George Island, a long way to come with fourth over and excess cover. Three quarters, and Mick Jagan finally did clear the top, but right there is Matt Genta and Campbell Poise. Here comes Art Maker on the outside, third straight, trying to battle back. Three quarters, 122 and four in the stretch drive. It's Matt Genta. Matt Genta and Campbell trying to open up on the lead here. Matt Genta, Mick Jagan all out, then it's third straight, and Art Maker up on the far outside, St. George Island between horses. Noble Cam is coming. Matt Genta now. Campbell's all over that one. They're swarming in. Here is St. George Island. Shine Ray, and up the coast, Noble Cam. It was St. George Island upsetting Dave Miller's third winner of the night. 150 and four equals the stakes record. St. George Island, the eighth, a five-year-old bay horse by Dragon's Lair. Out of memorabilia by Matt Scooter, owned by the Elegant Stable 9, Adam Victor, Carmen Ina Cohn, and the RCE Stable. The trainer, Carmine Fusco. The winning driver, Dave Miller, with his third winner of the night. Second victory of the season for St. George Island. 36 to 1 on the board, 150 and 4 fifths new lifetime mark and that equals the stakes mark set by jc supremo back in 1995 making our trophy presentation angela and mike poliga cindy and ray booty welcome to the big m congratulations to the winning connections the eighth saint george island pays 75 80 34 40 and 12 20. number six noble cam 826 dollars one cheyenne ray 480. the exacta of eight six five hundred ten dollars sixty cents the eight six one trifecta two thousand seven hundred seventy five sixty and in just a few moments we'll get winner circle reaction from the winning connection post time for the ninth dave you said uh, when I asked you about driving your choice, St. George Island, the connections, they asked you first. Yeah, they asked me to, uh, when George uh, took the Mick Jag in, they asked me and I, I went with him. You had Fox Valley Devious as the other one. Yeah, but uh, Carmine asked me first, so I stuck with him. Okay, what do we know? The first time you drove him tonight? Yeah, first time I ever stood behind him. Uh, Carmine uh, told me a little bit about him and said, just try to trip him out, and uh, it worked out. They were going pretty good, They're buzzing up into a fast half. Take, take us to the uh, top of the stretch. Where were you at that point? And take us into the stretch. Well, I got away behind uh, Lucky Is as Lucky Does, and uh, I figured I'd have good cover there, and like I said, the fast fractions, and he got drugged right into the race, and uh, he, he fired home real well. They're coming at, at you on both sides there, and these stretches, do you think he won it? Yeah, he, he kept pacing right to the wire. He was digging all the way. Okay, four straight years, Dave Miller's first or second here in the, in the four leaf clover. Adam Victor Jr., I see 39,000 on his line from last year. That's not the kind of numbers we expect to see a four leaf clover winner. No, he had a couple problems last year. He was hitting his knees, and it it took him a while to get going, but near the end of the year, he started coming. Okay, and also I see him in a claiming race three starts back. 
Yeah, we, uh, it was a big debate, but we thought that it would be safe to put him in there. But this was our goal from the beginning of the year. Okay, did you think this morning you'd have a chance to be uh, talking to us about St. George Island in the winter? circle? Not really. I thought that it was one of the most wide open finals uh, in a while that I've seen at the Meadowlands, and I knew it could have been anyone. Where's he go from here, we know? Um, not really. Uh, probably not into that 125 fight yet, but uh, the opens may be a little reach for him. But we'll see. Okay, congratulations to all the connections. It's in. The longest shot is one. St. George Island, the four-leaf clover final.